Dr. Tyson, in the beginning of the conversation, we, we discussed unconsciousness and how the universe created us in, in, and we have consciousness in itself. We haven't even figured out what consciousness is. But do you believe that us being conscious, you know, we, we're made of, of, of stardust, we, we're made of, of the galaxies, we're made of space. Do you feel, do, do you think it's enough evidence that there's other conscious beings out there or perhaps the universe itself has some form of consciousness? I would say dogs are conscious, chimps are conscious, cats are conscious. Um, I don't uniquely assign consciousness to humans. Uh, as a minimum, all mammals, because we're a mammal, all right? Uh, as a minimum. Uh, you can't tell me that when you look at a mouse curiously walking up to an entry to a maze that they don't have consciousness. No, I'm, uh, so uh, the consciousness might not even be special in the universe. There could be aliens with a much higher level of awareness of their world such that our consciousness looks rather primitive to them. So uh, I'm not invoking consciousness as a measure of anything special or important. I, I have no, I'm not compelled to do so. Do you think we will ever figure out what consciousness really is? Possibly, but just because we have a word for it doesn't mean it's a thing in need of being described. Okay? In that way. So, for example, maybe consciousness is not a real thing. It's some combination of other things that we haven't thought of yet. All right? Uh, what's an, what would be an example of that? Um, so here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fund a mission to the moon to find out what kind of cheese it's made out of. Well, and I design an experiment. Is it cheddar cheese? Is it Roquefort cheese? Is it Edam cheese? And I have all these experiments to detect that. Then I send it to the moon, and it's not made of cheese at all. So my very assumption that it was made of cheese was itself flawed. And flawed all the experiments I invented to try to test for it. So because we can't even agree on what consciousness is, for me, is evidence that maybe it does not exist as in any way that we want it to or think it should. I just would leave that option open. Because the history of science is one where if you think something is or should be a certain way, there's no obligation of nature to ensure that it is. Mm -hmm. So no, I'm not, I don't lose sleep over consciousness. When it, this is for me, for me personally, but in the future, let's say that we do find that consciousness is just not existent. We just defined it because we ourselves can perceive the perceiver. We can perceive that I am seeing you. I don't know. My body. Is... And just to be clear, I'm not declaring it doesn't exist. Right. What I'm suggesting is just because we have a word for it doesn't mean that word will yield to an explanation and an understanding that is based on objective reality. And it could be some other thing that we're knocking on the door of and don't even know yet. So I just would stay open to that. And the evidence, as you correctly said, that we know hardly anything about consciousness, evidence for that is that people keep writing books about it. Hmm. There, there's no books written every day about Newtonian gravity. Hmm. We're done. The book is on the shelf. All right, so quite the opposite of what people might think. For every new book written on consciousness, it's further evidence that we know nothing about it. Wow. Perhaps that's, you know, perhaps it's not consciousness, perhaps it's the soul, or maybe it's not the soul, or maybe, you know, but the, my fear was, is that maybe we do realize that everything is really mechanical. If we're mechanical, there's no special ingredient for us there's no circuit recipe or we're not as special as a Krabby Patty from Spongebob there's no secret sauce and perhaps AI will also reveal that in a way that we're just mechanical beings and yeah. how do you I don't have a problem with that so like so what that knowledge 
it would be deep and insightful, but you know, I'll still enjoy a, a nice meal with a good bottle of wine. I'll still enjoy friends. I'll still enjoy the sun on the beach. It doesn't change any of that. Would it change religion? Would Possibly. It, change... it depends on how tightly defined the religious understanding of the world is. Uh, it could, religions tend to have their own survival as a very high priority mm -hmm. uh, in this world. So, uh, in other words, is there some discovery that could be made where the Catholic Church says, oh, we've been wrong for 2,000 years, close up shop, you know, sell the, 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 the jewels and the, and the books and whatever, and, you know, let's make the Vatican a playground, a theme park. No, I don't see that happening no matter what, right? So, so um, generally what happens is that religions adapt to the new understanding of the world. You don't have religions declaring Earth is in the center of the known universe, whereas that was fundamental tenet mm. before Copernicus. They, they don't. They, they would look silly doing so, for example. 